defending champions Uganda Police are among the 20 clubs preparing for this year's edition of the Korean Ambassador Taekwondo Cup, starting on May 27th at the Indo Arena in Lugogo. The team spirit was yesterday lifted when they received training tips from a Taekwondo Korean coach who visited their training camp in Chibuli. So now, uh, uh, police Taekwondo team, uh, I teach demonstration and Pumse. Uganda last hosted the Korean Ambassador Cup in 2018 and now players are eager to showcase their talents after a long period of time. This game is very good for especially ladies for keeping your figure if you want to cut weight uh, to get off those uh, physical diseases. Yeah, even self-defense. It's been a long time and we've been preparing enough. We've had a couple of games way back preparing for this event. Since we've taken long without, uh, without uh, competing, it's going to give us uh, a chance to go and showcase what we've been working for and what we've been training for. According to the Uganda Taekwondo Federation General Secretary Judith Aucho, the event is a precursor to other competitions that they expect to take part in this year. We are expecting to have a Uganda Open. Then we are also going to have our instructors and coaches uh, course and then also the, 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 the referees course. Uh, above all we also have the regionals. Regionals are these tournaments that we usually hold in every region like uh, northern, then eastern, western and central. Meanwhile the police taekwondo club manager and also the federation's assistant general secretary Peter Malav says participants will benefit a lot from the competition. It is in this competition that players who are supposed to be selected on the national teams are also identified and they are called upon to be included on the national team. Regina Naluja, NTV Sport.